I wanted to make a video here where we just get straight to the point of what we're trying to achieve. We've decided to rebuild a Magnum 318. I chose the Magnum 318 because I wanted the, uh, the roller uh, camshaft properties of that engine. Uh, with the roller lifters. And once I made that decision, then uh, we have to decide you know, how far we're gonna go with this rebuild. I wanna try and keep it uh, pretty pretty straightforward, pretty simple and, and cost effective. Um, you know, I toyed around with the idea of, of getting upgraded heads. Cost kind of took that right off the table. It'd be about uh, $1,000 an assembled head Plus, uh, if we're going to go with uh, CNC machining to port it out and and increase uh, flow and stuff like that, and uh, living in Canada, you got the dollar exchange, then you got the shipping, and uh, when it's all said and done, you're you're looking at likely five thousand dollars, right? So that just takes it right off the table right there. And I did some more research and found out that you know, okay, what are you going to gain for that amount of money? And um, we're not building a, a you know, a heavy performance engine here. We want we want to have some fun with it, but uh, it's not a it's not a race engine. So, my information came out that uh, you'd be gaining somewhere in the neighborhood of thirty to fifty CFM over the stock head. So I I chose just to keep everything stock. The second thing I wanted to do is want to uh, bore and stroke the engine. I want to increase the compression. And uh, that was pretty exciting too. You get a, a stroker kit that's race balanced, and but there again, you have you know two thousand dollars for the stroker kit, dollar exchange, shipping. You're up there again, right? So look look back at the drawing board there, try to figure out what's the magic behind the stroker kit. And realizing the kit that I was looking at uh, had the same factory rod length as uh, as the stock engine, so really I would be paying all that money for the same rods, uh, bearings, crankshaft. I already have that right here with the engine. The only difference is the pistons, you know, to increase our um, combustion. So I decided just to get a set of pistons instead of the whole stroker kit. After that, then of course, you know, I think pretty common to every rebuild is gonna be your camshaft selection. Uh, you're gonna be increasing this thing over stock uh, and there's a lot of detail and a lot of time and thought that uh, can and should go into that choice. So to keep things simple, I simply chose to get a camshaft, bump up the compression with uh, some pistons and I want to uh, maintain the carburetor for the old truck that this engine's gonna go in. It's not a fuel injected uh, truck. So that's all I bought. So these are the parts I bought. I got a Demon carburetor. These are the pistons I selected. Uh, the important uh, factor being the compression height here at 1.810 just to get that compression up there. And then this was the camshaft that I selected for my application. It's, I think uh, the easiest way to explain it, I guess, is just before it gets radical. So really the only major modification to this engine would be the intake manifold, which we've already done. Uh, we took off the kegger and what I did was I placed this intake manifold onto the engine and I did my best to try and line it up uh, so that I could drill the holes and, and bolt, it, bolt it in place. Now that we completed that modification, everything looks good. It's uh, bolted down good and everything. We're gonna uh, disassemble it and I'll be taking this down to the machine shop so that they can bore it out for the, uh, the new pistons or 30 over. So uh, we're gonna get that uh, all taken care of today and then uh, bring it back and then we're going to start reassembling the engine. 